welcome everybody it's Carol and I'm back in my art room tonight and I'm going to do a bottle bottom pour it's one thing I forgot to pull out was my bottom of my bottle here's one I'm gonna pour it on a record it's a bottom of a like a coke bottle I know I had a shorter one I'll use this one. Anyway, I have a record prepared, primed, and prepared, taped to my back. This is like a 33 and a half. It's a bit smaller than the regular records. So I'm going to try one of these. Probably take less paint, which is good. Oh, my hair is bugging me tonight. Anyway, um, I've got uh, some colors to show you. I will put you down. So I've got, I'm using some Artist Loft Metallic Green. I'm going to use uh, DecoArt Americana Buttermilk. And I'm using Artist Loft Brilliant Magenta. I've mixed them up with Floetrol, one part to one part. The tube paint, like this, takes a little more Floetrol or and a little more water. So this is the uh, Artist Loft one. It's pretty good. And this is the Americana Deco Art. This was just half and half and I didn't add any water to this. I'm just going to add maybe a couple of drops and that should be it. And I'm trying to see if I can get something similar to my coleus plant. These are the colors. So the colors will be similar. It might work out, it might not. We'll see how it goes. All right, I'm going to start pouring now. should be fairly level. I'm going to do some green, green. Last time I did one like this, I put too much green and it didn't work out. So I just want a little bit of green. balance it out. Okay, now some magenta. No, wait. I think I need to do more of the cream. Now the magenta. More of the cream. bit of green. Turn this around the other way.
magenta again. Pretty, pretty colors. A little bit of cream. And these do take longer to dry because they're on a hard surface. There's no air getting underneath. I think I need some green. I think I missed a green. I missed a green, oh well. Now I'll put some green. Some more magenta. I've done a few of these. Most of them have come out okay. You got to try and get it as close. You don't want to pour off too much paint, so you got to try and get it close to the edge. It's my opinion, anyway. Some more cream. Better save a little bit of that. I might have to make some more cream. to make some more of this cream color. So this is about an ounce that's left in the bottle because I this is a two ounce bottle of Americana. First time first I used half of it so I, I should have just mixed the whole thing. Get my flow trawl. can't see. I have little measuring things on the side here. So one ounce to one ounce. So I'll go up to the two. Give it a little stir. of drops of water and we're good to go. See that stream? I'm going to go 
this way. All right. A little more green, I think. there. I think it looks pretty, pretty, pretty. There's anything you guys want to comment about you can comment scroll way down and you can comment anything you'd like me to do or ask a question I usually try to answer questions I look at all my comments Something I do in the morning when I'm not having my coffee. All right, so I guess um, some more pink. I think I'm almost out of pink now. I didn't think this would take this much paint, but it's taken quite a bit. Side's doing pretty good. Surprise, it's going on an angle like that. Okay, now, um, I guess no, I don't really want any more. Well, maybe a bit of this beige buttermilk color. Oops, that one went wonky there. I wonder if I move that. Must be a hole underneath where it's not even because some of my paint's slipping under there. I had some more pinky pink. No, I don't have any more pink. I think I'm going to stop though. And I think I'm going to be okay. So I'll take this off. Flow paint, flow. Flow, flow, flow hair on that. All right, time to take it off. I lift it up carefully.
put it here. I want some pink in the middle, but I'm not going to get much out of this thing. See if we can move this around. Slow as I can go. I think I'm gonna go back. That one's going kind of wonky on me. I think I'm gonna go back a bit. at the end here. I may as well keep going there. Try and go back this way. Come on, paint. We're almost there. Be good to me, paint. Be good to me. There we go. This way again. That made a funny circular thing there, I'm not crazy about. But. Far so good. I'm gonna do my it's a bit bit of a wonky but not so bad. To do with that center. I could always put a little bit of I don't know what I'm doing here, but we'll see. creative, I guess. Make the center look like something anyway.
There. I think it's good. Well, how does it resemble my coleus? Colors are similar. All I wanted was more pink. I think I can get a little more pink in there. There we go. All right, just gonna make some more pink. lines Oh, that's better. That's better. Now I'm going to have to level this and I think I'm done. I'm going to hold this up just so you can see a little closer. And I'll have to take, this will take a couple of days to dry. So when it's dry, I will take you back and I'll post the dry one. And I'm hoping it dries okay. Thanks for watching. Come back soon. Please subscribe. Thank you. Hi. Carol came down to have a look at her bottom bottle bottom pour that I did a few days ago on a record. It takes a while to dry these. I think I did it on two, Monday. Monday or Tuesday. And this is Friday. So yes, it takes about three days, three or four days. Anyways, it's 98% dry, maybe a little bit damp in the middle, so I won't touch there. So this is, it's pretty good. It's nice and smooth. It's a bit of a wonky one this time, but I like the colors. It is very similar to my coleus plant. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come back for more. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll be doing more of these videos. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.